What's up, friends and car lovers? Drake Donovan living the car show life in Ravenna, Ohio at Octane Nights. This amazing downtown show in Ravenna shuts down the main street and attracts over 4,000 cars of all kinds to this little Ohio town in the first week of August. Customs, classics, modern muscle, classic muscle, classic 50s parade float, malaise era cars, kit cars, 4x4s, rat rods, lead sleds, gassers, race cars, even imports. You name it, it's here at Octane Nights 2023. So let's take a look around at some of these really cool cars and some interesting builds. There are some really cool sleeper builds here at Octane Nights. One of them is right behind me. It's a 91 Mustang built by Jake Elam of Streetsboro, Ohio. And it's got an LS swap, an LS turbo swap. Check out this turbo. He says he hasn't had it dynoed yet, but it's a six liter LS engine with the turbo. He estimates that it's putting out about 700 horsepower. And the piece de resistance, he's got a bow tie right in the middle of the grill. Car Show Life has a lot of customers and fans in Ohio, and this is one of them. It's on Hell Robles' 2012 45th Anniversary Edition Camaro, known as Vader. Check out this airbrush job under the hood. He's got all this cool red painted engine dress up and the Car Show Life show board. We even ghosted Vader in from the hood liner. Neat little build, three world motorcycle sort of rickshaw style. So the rear bumper comes from the railing of a baby crib. The fenders were cut from a 55 gallon drum. Scrap steel for the body. The seats from a 71 Toyota station wagon. And it's driven by a 1600 cc Volkswagen motor. Here's another turbocharged LS build. It's a 64 Chevy Impala two door given the pro touring treatment with a beautiful two-tone black and cherry paint job. Gorgeous interior. Custom console, all power windows, side dump exhaust, and big, big hoops. This ain't your dad's 64 Chevy, that's for sure. Usually when you see a Jeep with big tires on it, it's jacked up high in the air, but not this rat rod. These monster tires are on this Willis Jeep and it's slammed to the ground, complete with an LS swap and lots of patina. Wacky customs abound here at Octane Nights in Ravenna and uh, this Studebaker a Hawk is no exception. It's called the Holland Hawk and we'll show you why out back. It's fitted with a flat wood paneled bed. And it's hauling some kind of metal lizard. But everything on this car is artfully done. The extended fins, the tail lamps, the Cadillac bullet tail lights. And check out this woodwork in the interior. plush leather seats and a sunroof. Now as someone who grew up in the 90s, I'm very familiar with this make and this particular model. It's a Suzuki X90 and it was this cute little SUV with T-tops, but the owners have taken it to the next level with a three inch body lift and three inch suspension lift with these large off-road tires. It's powered by the original 1.6 liter dual overhead cam engine with air conditioning. It's got a five speed transmission and a pretty original interior. There were only 7,000 of these imported to the United States in the 90s from 1996 to 98 during the production. On the license plate, the question they probably get asked most often, what is it? Suzuki X90. This 63 Chevy caught my eye because of its insanely gorgeous dark gray paint job. But then I saw the tail panel, only two tail lights on each side. Turns out it's no Impala, it's a Bel Air. Check out that upholstery. 
It looks like it was back in the day. But with some modern upgrades. Front engine Volkswagen Beetles. There were more than a few here at Octane Nights. I walked up and down Main Street here in Ravenna. One car caught my eye immediately. This 1971 Chevy Impala with a Hellcat swap. As I was looking at the wheels, I noticed the Hellcat emblem. And sure enough, there's a 707 horsepower supercharged Hemi V8 under the hood of this 1971 Chevy. The owner does a really nice job of incorporating some interesting touches, like Mopala in script on the dash. He tells me the interior was originally white, but it was beat up, so we've got a new leather interior in blue to match the blue finish. It's got full QA1 suspension and was built to autocross. The Mopar high impact colors of the early 1970s were named that because they were eye-catching and so is this eye-catching curious yellow Cuda 446 pack with a torque flight automatic transmission. Beautiful shaker hood, big billboard stripes, Gorgeous inside and out. The owners were telling me that if you put this next to a Sublime car, it looks yellow. But if you put it next to a Top Banana car, it looks green. Curious indeed. It's well documented that I am a Camaro guy because my mother brought me home in her 71 Camaro. But the car that followed that Camaro in their ownership was one like this, a 77 Caprice Classic Landau. That car was white with a green cloth interior and a white Landau top. This car in blue with a full vinyl top and white interior, but it is all original, 44,000 original miles. White wall tires, wire wheels, and a big bench seat. And I remember staring up at that big Landau window when I was a little kid. Here's a couple of movie stars from the Fast and Furious franchise. Mongoose Motorsports actually recreates the Corvette Grand Sport bodies. And these are two from the Fast and Furious franchise. Ravenna's Octane Nights is a feast for the senses. The sights, the sounds, the smells, the feels of rumbling exhaust. It is a fantastic evening that attracts over 4,000 cars to this Ohio town. The variety and number of cars at Octane Nights is fantastic. If you're in Northeast Ohio, I highly recommend you check it out and make sure you follow Mongoose Motorsports. They are the organizers of this event in the first week of August every year. Make sure you like and subscribe to our channel and follow us on social media at Car Show Life back in Hood Up. Until next time, I'm Drake Donovan. Thanks for watching.